there's some geese out there, but they're too far away. So we can talk about another note really quick before we have to stand up and <coughs> heat up the gun barrels a little bit. Um, so we're talking about the honk, that long front note, that long second note, and shortened version of that, just the middle little chunk of that note would be your cluck. That is gonna sound something like this. So that's a series of clucks strung together and uh, kind of a hunting scenario, hunting situation. And basically I just started the note with pretty much the tip of my tongue. Just like that. Start it with the tip of my tongue and pretty much end it with the tip of my tongue, um, shutting the note off or, or shutting the air off from the call. So it's just gonna deliver a, a super fast blast of air to the call, break it over really quick and shut it off just as quick, basically. So, you know, super short note. <laughs> just like that, you're bringing that air up from your diaphragm, pressurize that air and release it with your tongue. Your tongue acts kind of as a, uh, oh, um, a pressure release valve, so to say. So you're just releasing, you're re just releasing blasts of air at the reed, and it's going to break that reed over really quick. Start it, stop it, and there's a there's a cluck. Geese do that note all the time, all over the place. If you see a goose, he's probably just got done doing a cluck, or he's about to do one. So after you've got that cluck down perfect and you want to change the tone of it like two different geese talking back and forth, you can adjust the tone of the cluck or most any note for that matter with your middle finger. It kind of acts like the slide on a trombone. The higher you have it, the higher pitch that goose call is going to be. The lower that you have it, the lower pitch it's going to be. But you have to remember your pressures when you, when you raise it up, you're changing the pressure on the back side of the call too, so you're going to have to put a little bit more pressure here. And if, in uh, the opposite of that, if you're gonna close that middle finger down, you have to back off on the pressure on this side of the call. So when you do that, adjust that finger and you have it up here, those clucks are gonna be a lot higher pitch. And bring it down. It's just like two different geese talking back and forth. And if you go outside, listen to the geese, go down to the park, they're doing that note. They're talking back and forth like that all the time, especially in the spring. You can hear some pretty impressive conversations that way. You might want to speed that up a little bit, get that cluck as fast as you can. There's a few different ways of going about that. The one way you can do that is to start and stop every note, basically with the tip or the middle of your tongue, <laughs> something like that, and, and cluck like that, and then just build speed. You know, you're gonna start out pretty slow. <laughs> and then just get faster and faster, and that might take you 20 minutes or it might take you two days <clears throat> um, to build that speed like that but uh, you know you can continue building that speed or another way to do it is like we had talked about before when you're just applying air into the call before we started blowing that honk you can see I never stopped that note that's how we started initiating that honk right is just blowing a continuous note and breaking that call over and falling back and breaking it over and falling back. Now let's just speed that up, get that muscle memory built. And this is gonna be mostly back of your tongue. Get that muscle memory built up and start speeding that, up, speeding that up, shortening up those notes. And now it's pretty much just like we got a whole bunch of clucks stacked in there together.